Auric Consulting presents the Oracle Podcast with Anton Marshall. Hello and welcome to the Oracle Podcast. My name is Anton Marshall. Today we're talking about something that most consumers are going to be very interested in, and that is how to save money uh, when you're shopping and out in groceries. We're talking about a product called Snap and Save. It's a new product that was developed here in South Africa, uh, and, it, and it involves your mobile. So uh, here to talk to us about it today is the CEO of Snap and Save, Mr. Mark Bradshaw. Welcome, Mark. Thanks, Anton. Okay, so uh, j- just to g- backtrack a little bit from what I was talking about there, this is a locally developed mobile and web app, and it's uh, it brings or it's helping to bring a culture of coupon savings to South Africa. Now, coupon savings, as you've said uh, in the press, is a big thing in in the US and in the UK, um, and bringing it here with a very out of the box idea. So, what inspired this for you, and 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 how how are we going to do this here in South Africa? Correct. Uh, I think, yeah, it, it, uh, the product is developed locally, so it's something we, we, we're proud of as South, as South Africans to bring a, a South African product to, to South Africans. And I, uh, before getting into the details, I think it's very important. A lot of tech companies try and sort of apply ideas that are successful in uh, overseas markets um, and uh, try and apply that to um, a, a market where we have different nuances and intricacies. So, yes, uh, Snap and Save is South African and proudly South African. Um, uh, in terms of what we produce, in terms of uh, Snap and Save, the the little story of it is the 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 couple of the founders were actually working for big, uh, large listed organisations and had the opportunity to to live in the USA and see the coupon culture as you referred to in the USA. And I'm sure we've all seen those crazy uh, uh, coupon shows where where people are paying one dollar and buying endless tins of baked beans and and whatever. Um, the, the amazing thing with the, the culture is just in terms of how shoppers shop um, and the, um, the need in terms of coupons meeting that opportunity to save wherever you shop. And I think all is, uh, we're all shoppers and we all understand that we don't necessarily just shop at one store. We, when we're at work, we nip into our, our closest and most convenient store. But in, in general, if we're loyal to a specific brand like a shaving cream, we want to be able to save on that shaving cream wherever we stop. And in addition to that, we all like getting a little bit more cash back. So this, uh, seeing this opportunity with coupons and seeing uh, uh, the need in terms of, uh, in general, how, how South Africans uh, uh, need to save in these tough economic times, the, the founders came back and uh, started working on Snap and Save. The, the key for it, or one of the big developments, was was realizing that as South Africans, we are a little uh, more, uh, con- not conservative is the wrong word, a little bit more uh, private when it comes to how we save and sharing that. So in the USA, for example, when you uh, order a plate of food, the first thing Americans will talk about is that they only paid this $5 for this steak. Whereas in South Africans, we tend to rather refer to the uh, the quality of the steak or the experience in eating the steak. And the money is uh, something we like to keep private. And the concept in terms of snapping your till slip, uh, which uh, is how snap and save you, you, uh, works, uh, allowed shoppers to do that, that uh, saving in the privacy of their, their own home instead of having to deal with tellers and, and those kind of uh, uh, embarrassing moments in store uh, that, that South Africans don't really like. You know, that sounds amazing. Now, I have to say that um, for someone who, who makes a living working on the web and stuff like that, I myself am a little technophobic when it comes to using you know, my own <laughs> mobile devices and so forth. Yeah. How easy is this process, well, how easy is Slap and Save to use as a process without getting into too much of the, the back-end detail? Yeah, no, no. I mean, really, Snap and Save is, is giving you cash back wherever you shop. And uh, the the idea behind it is, and what we call it, if, if you can take a photo with your phone, then you can take a selfie of your till slip. So literally, you ta- you're taking a, a selfie or a photo of your till slip after you shop uh, and uploading that to our servers. And our clever tech guys do all their fancy photo recognition. Uh, and uh, then we credit a, a wallet account for you, an e-wallet account for you to spend in, in store based on the cash back on the available coupons. So it's from a technophobe, I'm also slightly technophobe. You'll be funny to know I'm an accountant by trade, so t- technology is, I'm, I'm learning as we're going. Um, but uh, it's as easy as snapping a till slip. And uh, it's very important for us to make that process as easy as possible. We're all not super duper uh, advanced tech users in, in this country. And I think uh, we, we don't want products that complicate our lives. They meant to make it easier. What types of products 
can I expect to actually make these kinds of savings on uh, as, as a matter of course? You know, uh, is it basically focused on your everyday sort of consumer products, or, or how, how broad is the range on on what you can offer? We've we've started to we focused on uh, grocery products to start with uh, as a as a broad definition. Anything you can buy in supermarkets, so uh, pick and pay checkers, discounts, uh, etc. Um, that includes obviously uh, if you think of some of the smaller electronic items like toasters and stoves that you can buy in those retailers. So anything that you would associate on those retailer shelves. Um, the reason being we've started it as a, as a narrow focus is that uh, one to obviously fulfill a gap for consumers. There's no real coupon grocery coupon site uh, in terms of uh, operating at the moment. Um, the other is uh, yes to answer your question. There is plans to expand into bigger categories like. Uh, bigger electronic items, etc. Um, at the moment, for us, it's about a focus, a niche, and making sure that the the, the process for the consumer is as streamlined as possible. Um, the types of products in that, um, I think it's all those products that sort of hit your pocket a little bit when you when you make a purchase. So let's call it the the, the nappies. I've got a little two-year-old, and I call it the fillet steak, so that I ever type to buy every time. Um, you know, getting 60 rand back on a, on some nappies, or your cleaning detergent, where it's costing you 80 rand for some some washing powder, and getting another 20 rand back on the washing powder. Um, those are the items that we focus on because we know that's where it can suddenly you get that thousand rand grocery bill, and you've got six or ten items in your packet, and you wonder where your money went to. Yeah, right. Uh, just, just as a side question, you you would get the money back into into a type of e wallet, uh, and and sort of how would you redeem that? Do, would you actually get the cash back itself, or would you or would you apply it as discount coupons next time? So yeah, so what we we again, this is a, a what we call cashing out on your wallet, and we we are exploring or uh, managing many different options to start with. Uh, what we we offer is a, a voucher to be used against your uh, an e voucher or a code that's issued to you to be used against future purchases in store. Um, then uh, down the line, we also are currently looking at obviously electricity and airtime, and we're talking to leading banks to get that to cash back to you uh, in your bank account or transfer. Uh, the FICA regulations are obviously very tight on that, so we're having to make sure that we we tread the line carefully. Um, and but at the moment, an opportunity to get the, the cash back off your purchase when you shop and store. Right. Now, you, you've made the choice in this case to, to go with specific products and brands as partners, if you want to call it that, mm. as opposed to, say, you know, a, a broad retailer. What are the advantages mm. to that and what has the uptake been like? I think it's important to note that the the promotions that you see running in store, uh, and I say this uh, in, in a broad context, 90 to 95 percent of the promotions you see running in, a, in the retailers I mentioned are actually funded by the brands. So those brands are, are uh, offering that discount through the retailers. So retailers in general are not funding promotions that are that are happening. So we work uh, directly with the the brands uh, and provide value to them through obviously the the, the mechanisms of connecting uh, our or shoppers looking to buy their products. Um, and they are the ones offering or partnering with us to basically give shoppers cash back for buying their products. Um, and we've started obviously with engaging with the, the brands that I mentioned and obviously some of those leading manufacturers that, that manage and own those brands uh, uh, to work with. So retailers for us is, is less of a focus given that the brands are funding the, the cash back. It makes perfect sense. Right now, how do people get up and running uh, with, with this product which, you know, one way or another definitely sounds like, you know, it, it can save you some money. How do people get up and running? The, the, the first uh, and obvious step is to to grab your phone or get on your PC and go to Snap and Save. That's Snap and Save, like you can pay .co .za, uh, and uh, sign up for a Snap and Save uh, wallet account or you sign up for your Snap and Save account. Thereafter, it's as easy as seeing the coupons and offers that you you like that we're currently running, buying them in store, and snapping that till slip. Um, and the rest is is. Um, is is waiting to get that cash back in your wallet, and uh, then I ask you the question: What are you going to do with all the money you get back? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, whatever can be done can be done. <laughs> Mark Bradshaw, CEO of Snap and Save, thank you so much for your time today. This sounds like a fantastic product. It really does sound like you know it it, it can be used. Uh, oh, one of the nice things that 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 I'm seeing here is that it really is something that can 
apply to or appeal to a really broad market. You know, it's 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 not aimed at any specific. Uh, you know what the market is called living standards measure anyone can use it anyone can save and it really is really really an interestingly thought out and you know uh, good luck with this I, I, i'm going to try it out i think thanks very much for, for for putting this on the market thanks yeah thanks anton and uh, as i say it's uh, it's amazing when you start uh watching how you shop, what you can actually save at the end of the day and uh, use to, to buy the things you want more than the things you need. Uh, uh, 60 Rand on that, that diapers ended up meaning, up meaning for me I bought the Lindt chocolates. So <laughs> it made me a lot happier on a Sunday evening watching the Mnet movie. Fantastic. Mark Batcher, CEO of Snap and Save. Thanks very much for your time today. Thanks, Anton. You have been listening to the Oracle Podcast, brought to you by Oric Consulting, www.oricconsulting.co.za.